I really hope this video is as ghetto as the title sounds. Three true ghetto Walmart. Three true creepy Walmart horror stories by Whisper Diaries. Forget the intro, let's go. I worked at Walmart six years ago when I was in college. My college schedule was terrible, having classes scattered throughout the day. So finding a job with hours I could consistently work was hard. The Walmart by my campus was open 24 hours and was hiring for the overnight cashier position. Overnight was the only time I knew I could always work and not have to worry about missing class. I took the interview and the job, and for a while it was going well. It was surprisingly busy throughout the night, but it made time go by faster. I was almost always the only cashier working, so I didn't have any co-workers to talk to unless one of the warehouse guys walked by. After a few months of working, I started to notice the same routine customers coming in. There was this one man in particular that always came around 2am and would buy random items every time. He would buy clothes of various sizes and genders, random food, toys, tools, everything. He always came alone though. He wasn't much of a talker and was very reserved, just checking out and leaving without saying anything. With nothing better to do, I'd always think about what the guy was up to. I never really thought he was actually up to anything, but my mind would wander sometimes. But then one night, at 2am like usual, the man came into my checkout lane, and to my surprise, he started talking to me. He asked how my night was going and if I had any plans for the weekend. I kept up with the small talk, but was still shocked that he was even talking. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he was definitely on something. He looked extremely tired, and his hair was greasy and unkempt, but his eyes were wide open. He paid for his stuff, then thanked me and left. I let my mind wander again, thinking about what the sudden change was. The rest of the night was really slow, dragging on until 6am when I finally clocked out. The parking lot was mostly empty, and the sun was just starting to rise. As I walked to my car, I saw someone was parked next to me with their car on. I got closer, and when I was just a few feet away, a man got out. It was the strange guy that had come in at 2am, which course. was 4 hours ago. He smiled, looking even more tired than he did earlier. I said hi, and walked around to the other side of my car, trying to act normal, but he <laughs> followed me around to my driver's side door. I told him I had to go home, but that I would see him tomorrow. He didn't say anything, but just continued smiling and staring. I opened my door and started to get in, but the guy suddenly grabbed my arm, holding me tight. I looked back at him, and his smile was gone. He forced me out of my car and started pulling me toward his car. I was yelling and fighting back, not letting him pull me more than a few feet before I pushed him down. I hurried inside my car and drove away, checking my mirrors to make sure he didn't follow. I didn't see him, but just in case, I didn't go home and instead parked at a McDonald's and called the police. After they interviewed me and got the case written down. Ah, thank you. Don't go directly home if you think you're getting followed. But yo, real quick, I had to remember, like, yeah, these are freaking horror stories, dog. Because at first I'm thinking, like, yeah, he is in this mug boosted. Definitely probably selling this ish, but nah, I probably got these kids in his home or something. Freaking tools, clothes, the toys, everything. I was like, yeah. I, think I, I didn't see him, but just in case, I didn't go home and instead parked at a McDonald's and called the police. After they interviewed me and got the case written down, they started investigating. They had some footage on the CCTV in the store and the parking lot. I was hopeful, but after a few weeks, they still didn't have an identity. I continued working and never saw the man again. It makes me sick thinking about all of the stuff he was buying, like clothes of different sizes that I know are probably for other victims he had taken. I'm lucky to have gotten away, but I still feel terrible. 
part of me was really hoping he'd come back though, so that I could attempt to stop him from getting away again. Eventually, COVID happened and the Walmart stopped doing 24 hours, so I lost my job anyway. It's been six years, but I hope he got caught somehow, or does soon. NP. Walmart was never my first choice as a place to work, given the low quality rep it has, but I applied for the job two years ago and took it for one reason. It was overnight. I wouldn't have to worry about crazy customers or anything. <laughs> I just had to stock the shelves during the store's closed hours. Oh, you're closed, never mind. This happened just a week or two after I started working there. I got some training from the manager for the first couple days, then I started working alone like everyone else. The store was huge, so we had a lot of ground to cover every night, but the work itself was simple. We'd each have a long cart full of boxes to stock for each aisle, and we'd My get as- <laughs> It says, <laughs> it says wet and wild F. I was like, that that's pretty unique combo. So we had a lot of ground to cover every night, but the work itself was simple. We'd each have a long cart full of boxes to stock for each aisle, and we'd get as much done as we could before our shift was over. On Monday night, I got to the store and clocked in at 11 p.m. I talked to the manager, then got my assigned aisles for the night and got to work. I was a pretty shy person, not great at making friends unless they talked to me first. So I always kept conversations to a minimum and focused on work, <laughs> especially since I was new. As I was searching for the correct spot for one of the boxes in the aisle, a man came up behind me and tapped me on the shoulder. It startled me, but he politely asked where the bathroom was. I told him and he walked away. I thought he was just another new employee, since they'd been hiring a lot recently. I mean, the store was closed anyway, so what else was I supposed to think? I carried on, finishing in the aisle and moving to the next, until the man came back. Pretty good cups for 88 cents. I go like, I don't, I'm a target guy now. I'm bougie now. But isn't the, isn't the protein smoothies or the essentials they don't sell for 5.98? Other right, new employee for, for, for. since they'd been <laughs> him, and he walked away. I thought he was just another new employee, since they'd been hiring a lot recently. I mean, the store was closed anyway, so what else was I supposed to think? I carried on, finishing in the aisle and moving to the next, right, until secured. the man came back. He stood at the end of the aisle I was in, and did an awkward wave. He looked to be nervous, or uneasy about something. I asked if he needed something. Yeah, I just... can you help me? He stuttered. Uh, sure. I said, following him. I had no idea what he needed, but thinking he was a new employee, I thought he must have made some sort of mistake and Which didn't want to tell the manager in fear of getting in trouble. We passed an aisle with another worker in it, and he gave me a funny look. Just as I was starting to question things, the man stopped. We were at the front of the store by the front service desk. It's right here, if you could just reach it for me. He said, stepping aside and pointing at the other side of the counter. Oh. I walked in front of him and leaned over the counter, looking for what he was pointing at. But then I felt a sudden dull object being pressed into my back. The man grabbed me aggressively and held me down, telling me to be quiet. I realized the object was likely the barrel of a gun, and my whole body went numb with fear. Open it, he said in a hushed voice, referring to the cash register at the front desk. I told him I was just an overnight stalker and didn't have access to that stuff, but he didn't believe me. Man, you take the whole register. He got more aggressive each time he asked me, before another employee walked by. The man yelled at him to open the register but the employee looked just as scared as me. I told him I could call the manager to come up and open it for him, begging him not to do anything else. He agreed, and I picked up the store phone to call, but the other employee made a sudden run for it, 
which must have caught the man off guard. He shoved me against the counter, knocking the wind out of me, then ran across the store. I stayed there and managed to call 911. Luckily everyone was okay, and the man actually didn't chase the other employee, but just left the store instead. Everything was caught on store cameras too, showing him hide just before closing, and even got a pretty good face shot. He was later identified and arrested, where they found that he was actually using a fake gun that he'd spray painted all black. I still work at Walmart today. <laughs> Which can work though if you scared as hell so much just put that to your back. I mean, like you just unless you some gunologist that just know like mm, that's a super soaker. I don't know, but yeah, you gonna feel like oh whoa, alright, bro. I ain't got a key, but you I carried me to the cough. <laughs> Pretty good face shot. He was later identified and arrested, where they found that he was actually using a fake gun that he'd spray painted all black. I still work at Walmart today, and have gotten a lot closer with some of my co-workers, but I still find myself staying alert sometimes, nervous that someone else could be lurking around in the huge store without me knowing. I'm a single dad, balancing two jobs and two kids. Ooh. Things got a little Ooh. easier when my- I'm oh, sorry, let me go, but Ooh, shit. Sorry, bro. Reality can be scared. I'm a single dad, mm. balancing two jobs and two kids. Things got a little easier when my eldest son got old enough to watch after my youngest, but working all day makes everything a pain. Anyway, I got home from my second shift around 10, but tomorrow I had another full day of work and I knew I didn't have anything for them to eat while I was gone, Damn. so I had to make a quick trip to Walmart. They were the only store around that was open until 11. I got there just before 10.30. I hated to be that customer that walked in right before closing, but I didn't have much of a choice. I went straight over to the grocery section and looked around for some frozen meals for the kids. But after a minute, I realized there was someone watching me. It was this creepy looking man, standing on the other side of the aisle. Every time I'd look at him, he would look away, playing dumb, but it was super obvious he was staring at me. I grabbed a couple boxes and went down to the next aisle, but the man followed. I looked back at him and watched as he pretended to look around, occasionally checking if I was still looking at him. He seemed to be in his late 40s, but it was hard to tell because he was wearing a heavy jacket and a hat. You good? I said, hoping he'd get the hint to leave me alone. He immediately walked away, not even looking at me again. I thought to myself he was just some random strange Walmart customer like you always hear about, and tried to not think about it any more than that. I picked up a box of cereal and some milk then headed to the self-checkout lane. I kept my eyes open for that man, but he wasn't around anymore. You I guess I really did. If my kids ain't gonna, they ain't got nothing to eat, and you know they ain't gonna have nothing to eat for a minute. Get some, get some spaghetti, dog. <laughs> Stop talking. I'm trying to help father to father. I'm trying to help this man out. That's it. I don't get no damn cereal. They already ain't got nothing to eat. They ain't gonna have give me, you know, give them kids all that goddamn sugar for. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Get some that goddamn lunch meat, some bread. Some milk, then headed to the self checkout lane. I kept my eyes open for that man, but he wasn't around anymore. I guessed I really did scare him off. I scanned everything and paid, then walked out. Scan everything. I right, stop. I scanned everything and paid, then walked out. It was dark and the parking lot wasn't very well lit, <laughs> but from far away, I could tell something was off about my car. Walking up to it, there were scratches and dents all over it, and two of the windows were shattered. He said it was a single day. I was in shock. Then I heard footsteps coming up quickly behind me. I turned, seeing two men rushing at me, 
one holding some sort of metal pipe in his hand. I tried getting my keys out and getting in my car, but I realized I was taking too long and took off running instead. I ran straight back to the store, and I heard their footsteps stop after a short chase. I watched by the front entrance as they beat in my car some more, then got in a nearby truck and drove away. I of course called 911, and they helped me with my car and giving me a ride home, but nothing could be done about it at first. A month later though, the same thing happened to someone else at a different Walmart a few miles away. Oh, never mind. The man who got attacked was armed and managed to detain one of them, and this eventually led to both men being arrested. One of them I recognized as the man I'd seen looking at me in the store, but I don't know about the other one. Neither gave any reasons worth- Not gonna lie, not being funny. <clears throat> and yes, just because the title was Walmart, I may, my brain is there. So I was thinking like, oh, he did, made it clear he was a single dad. That's pretty new to hear. And why did he point that out? So I'm like, oh shit, his baby, baby mom probably sent these uh, dudes. Or he probably was messing with a woman, then she, I, I don't know, that's what I was thinking. But no, it's not like they just actually going around just sabotaging shit or... I don't know about the other one. Neither gave any reasons worth noting as to why they did it. There's just some sick people out there, but I'm glad these two won't be around anymore. <sighs> Definitely glad nobody got hurt, but I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. And I ain't gonna lie, I still be at Walmart. I like to think I'm bougie, but I'd be, I be at Walmart still. That's my spot. They be having some good sales. I'm about to get up out of here. Hey, go ahead and enjoy your day. Your morning, your evening, your night, whenever you're watching this video. Ooh. But I'm out, dog. <laughs>